We'll only see right here on 3TV. Man's best friend could help solve the mystery of valley fever and keep all of us healthier. Okay. Dr. Billy Hendricks at Alta Vista Veterinary Hospital always gives a good listen to how pets are breathing when they come in. We see valley fever oftentimes even on a daily basis. He says up to 90% of all pets will be affected by valley fever. And while breathing problems are the most common sign, left untreated, in some cases, it can even be fatal. So while Dr. Hendricks is always on the lookout for valley fever, Dr. Bridget Barker with TGen is busy looking at valley fever. I'm really interested in understanding why certain people and certain dogs get more severe illness when they're exposed to the valley fever fungus. Barker is actually looking at the valley fever fungus at a genetic level, but she also needs to know how it affects the host, or in this case, our pets. So if we can understand host genetics on the dog side, we hope to translate that to host genetics on the human side. To do that, they've teamed up with the Arizona Humane Society to gather, you got it, genetic material. We use are collecting saliva from dogs of all different types of breeds and ages, and some with valley fever, some without valley fever. Dr. Robin Janes with the Humane Society says they already know some dogs have a more severe response. And so that's part of what the research is trying to figure out is what makes a dog more prone to it, and are there things we could do differently to help prevent it? Barker says by looking at the disease from a genetic level, they'll be able to find if there are variations in the fungus itself or in certain dogs that make them more or less vulnerable, which could lead to better treatment for man and pets alike. We might be able to actually do treatments where um, people not only get the standard antifungal treatment, but also get something that helps support their um, immune system. And while there is no way to prevent valley fever, the best thing you can do right now is to watch for breathing problems and get your dog to the vet if you notice them. But you should let the professionals really look into that for you. Well, so far, evidence shows beagles and boxers are more prone to the disease, but more research and dogs are needed. So if you want your pup to help out, all of that information is on our 3TV News app.